Welcome back everyone, my name is Antas Gaming and for this video we are going to continue our series of all weapons and their best pairings for open world PvP. In our last video we covered the rapier, so for this video we are going to go over the fire stuff. So without further ado, enjoy the video. The Fire Staff has been a very popular weapon in the closed beta and in the open beta and I'm sure that it once again will be a very popular weapon once the game releases since it's one of those weapons that outputs a lot of damage but due to its high mana cost and skill cap it can make this weapon tricky to use if you are not accustomed to this weapon. And since I'm by no means a Fire Staff expert I asked a buddy of mine which is also a fellow content creator on YouTube called Ritzy for some advice on this weapon since he is a Firestaff expert. So when it comes down to the Firestaff's build and the abilities that you will use, he recommends two different types of builds. And both of these builds are built around burn and mobility, so let's get straight into it. The first being an incinerate burn build. What is good about this build is that you will output more damage and potentially more burn onto your opponents. You are ability reliant with this build and you will most of the time just do a full rotation of your spells and switch into your secondary weapon since this build doesn't offer much mana regeneration. However, for the second build which Ritzy recommends is a high mana regeneration burn build. With this build and all the passives that you take like spell focus, flare and heat up, you will regain a lot more mana back than the other build. Also, your fireball's ability has a passive which is called catch, which will give you a 10% mana back when it hits an opponent. Also, you want to focus on doing heavy attacks since certain passives in this build will give you a certain percentage of mana back on hit. And also your heavy attacks will no longer consume mana, which is a crucial aspect to this build. So in my personal opinion, both of these builds have their ups and downs. And now before we get into the best weapons to pair with the fire staff in open world pvp, please go check out my buddy Ritzy and show him some love. If the fire staff is a weapon that you want to trend towards on release, then go check out some of his pvp videos where he incinerates people to their death in multiple 1vx scenarios. But with that being said, let's get into the top 2 weapons to pair with the fire staff. The first weapon that pairs really well together with the fire staff is none other than the ice gauntlet. This combination of weapons is built around one active ability, being entombed. This ability allows you to go inside of a pillar of ice making you untargetable for a certain amount of time and speeds up your mana regeneration by a lot. You will be full in a matter of seconds. This combination of weapons also both scale of intelligence. So getting an intelligence gem will boost your damage significantly. Now the second weapon that pairs really well together with the fire staff is none other than the rapier. And I think that is Ritzy's favorite like you can see in some of his videos. These two weapons combined is an excellent option in open world pvp, especially in a 1v1 scenario. But this doesn't mean that it doesn't have outplay potential in a 1vx scenario. This combination offers a lot of mobility, since both weapons have a gap closer or a getaway ability. For the fire staff it's burnout, and for the rapier it's flesh. So don't hesitate to chip at your opponent's health bar with the fire staff, and then close the gap with your fire staff's burnout ability, and then basically you just go into your rapier and finish off the low target with all the spells of your rapier. Now there are a few other weapons which you could pair with the fire staff, like the life staff and even the musket. But I believe that it's very situational and you won't get the best value in open world pvp, as opposed to the ice gauntlet or the rapier combined with the fire staff. Well guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more new world content. Don't hesitate to drop a comment down below to tell me which one of these fire staff builds you will be using on release. Like always, it's been my pleasure and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace!